Meanwhile, at that same time, a group of balanced guardians were lying in wait when their leader, Count Midnight, said, upon seeing the light spell going past them. That's the signal. We move now. Right, said the rest of his group. The croc queen saw the final wall had fallen before saying as she could hear the cavalry Gaia had called for were about to arrive, to which the croc queen said with a growl, You thought this far ahead, so what? I'm not letting you two take me down without a fight. I was hoping you'd say that, said Gaia, as she and Maple circled the croc queen. The thing is, we're the reason the flame trotters lost the war, and you all will fail. You think so, said Terrorhorn, who appeared at the top of a tower of the Croc Queen's fortress at this very moment. Crocky, you've lost this fortress and our secret weapons. If you can capture at least one of these two and make a break for it, or just the second option, I might turn a blind eye and not tell the others. Maybe. I've got work to do, so bye. Telehorn then teleported out of there to the Croc Queen's annoyance, so she said while getting into fighting pose. Unbelievable. That run is actually going to leave me be fine. Let's do this. Hmm. Not too long later, the Croc Queen and her minions were defeated by Guy and her sister Maple, well, along with the Calvary. A few managed to escape, said one of the Balance Guardian's agents to Count Baluk Bullock. Bullock, as they were preparing their prisoners for transport. That's not good. That means the mysterious enemy now knows we taking down one of their lead bases. Said Count Bullock before turning to the two sisters who were tending to each other's wounds from the fangs of the Croc Queen, who despite being captured was giving them death stares. Is there anything, anything we need to know about? Just that the group this monstrosity works for had somebody else here, said Gaia, who got Count Bullock on edge right then. Terrorhorn, the leader of their beast hunters, was present, only to leave her behind. Ponies involved in, all, in this, yeah, they would be one to leave the one down behind. That is just cold said Count Midlight, Midnight, who then looked at the Croc Queen, who was now being forced into a specially made magic wagon. Then again, not all of them are ponies, but this this is just wrong. The Council of Evil is little puppies compared to this group. This isn't over, is it? asked Maple as they took another wagon that was heading to the nearest town as they're right out of there. Gaia took a deep breath before saying with a disappointed voice, No, I'm afraid this is just the beginning. Back with Twilight 